Good morning and welcome to Time with the Children. We're still in Advent. We're moving along though. We're in the third week, which means if you look at the candles in worship today, we got to light that special pink candle that has a special meaning, which we'll talk about at the end of this story. Um, the previous weeks, we lit one for Wonderful Counselor um, and Mighty God, and this week, we're lighting the candle around Everlasting Father, and I'm going to tell you a story about Everlasting Father that comes from the Bible, it comes from Luke chapter 15, so you can go look it up later. And often in the story, we focus on the child, but I want you to take a minute and listen to the story of the father and try to think about what it would like, be like to be the father in the story. And so we're going to use these Legos here to tell the story. So here we have the father and the son. And what happens is the father has all this stuff and a wonderful family, and the son says, hey, give me half of that stuff Give me the stuff you'd give me if you were dead, and I'm going to leave and never come back and take that stuff with me because I don't need you and the family anymore. So the son packs up all the half stuff that he got. See here in his boat. And he zooms away from the father. What happens, though, is that the son wastes everything that the father gave him on silly things and loses everything, including friends. And he'd already lost his family because he told him he was leaving forever. It's so bad that he ends up in a pig pen with the only things to hang out being pigs and the only food to eat being the pig's food. And he wonders, what happens if I go back and say I'm sorry to my dad and ask him if I can work for him? This is where we pause to think about the father again. If you were the father, how would you be feeling if one of your children was gone and you didn't know where they were and you really missed them? and they had taken their inheritance or half their stuff and gone, how would you feel? And what would you do if the son came back? What kind of feelings might you have? Well, here's where we get the word for today. When the father saw the son from far off down the road, he ran to greet him, and he embraced him. That means he gave him a hug. And the feelings that the father had were not anger, but they were joy. Imagine that. Imagine being the parent who, despite all the things that happened, was just overjoyed that the son was home. And that's what our pink candle is about today, that joy that God feels when we're in relationship with God. So your action item this week is from this story, is to do two things. It's to tell someone that God loves them and to remind someone that God forgives them no matter what and welcomes them home with joy. So let's end with our weekly prayer, and I'll say a line and you repeat it after me. Jesus, our everlasting Father, thank you for your patience with us. Your welcome brings us joy. Help us share that same patient forgiveness. So that others may know you are the God of love, hope, and joy. We all say together, amen. See you next week.